When applying keyframes to multiple layers or captions, one of the best tools at your disposal is the keyframe editor. Let's take a look at an effect and see how the keyframe editor makes it easier to manage the effects and timing on your slide. As I play the slide, you'll see that the slide fades in and then a photo appears. After that, we see a caption appear that tells us something about this photo. As the slide continues, the original caption and photo fade out and then we see new images and captions. The effects you see here are all very simple. Each layer and caption use two keyframes, a basic fade transition, and the timing has been adjusted so that each object is not on the screen at the same time. Normally, you'd use the keyframe timeline and configure each layer one at a time. However, when working with multiple objects on a slide, the keyframe editor will make the job much easier, especially when timing adjustments are crucial for your effects. To access the keyframe editor, click this icon at the bottom of the slide options window. The heart of the keyframe editor is the multiple timeline view on the right. Here you'll see all the keyframes for all your layers and captions at once. Any captions on your slide will appear above your photo and video layers. These timelines function exactly like the normal keyframe timeline that you interact with in the slide options window. To change the timing of a keyframe, click and drag the marker to adjust the time visually. Or, if you need more precise timing, select a keyframe and click the Set Time box over in the Tools pane. You can also right-click on the keyframe to set the time. Layer transitions and caption behaviors can also be adjusted in the keyframe editor. Simply click on the icons and choose a new effect. To adjust the durations, hover over the effect and either click and drag or right click to set the time. If you need to add more keyframes, right click on a timeline and choose your insert option. Keep in mind, while you can add keyframes here, you can't edit the adjustments or effects properties in this window. Only timing, transitions, and caption behavior. When you have effects that rely on fast timing, try using the editor zoom over here in the tools pane. This will allow you to see the keyframe timeline in much smaller increments. Just above the tools, you'll find the slide preview. At the top of the window, you'll find the scrub tool. Click and drag this icon to move back and forth within the slide. This is very useful for identifying where timing changes are needed and quickly seeing the results in the preview. In this example, the key to making the slide look great is precision timing for multiple slide objects. Because the keyframe editor lets me see all my captions and layers at once, making those changes becomes a whole lot easier. I know that I want each of my photos to fade in as the others fade out. To line these layers up visually, click a keyframe marker and hold the mouse button down. You'll see this blue alignment bar appear. Next, I'll move this marker until the alignment bar shows me that I have the effects perfectly lined up. For even more precision, press the control key as you click on the keyframe markers to select a range of keyframes. This allows you to set the time for all of these keyframes at once using the Set Time button. You can also set the time by right-clicking on any of the selected markers and either choosing Align Selected Keyframes here or Set Time. Once you have everything in place, press the Apply button to return to the Slide Options window. And that does it for our quick overview of the keyframe editor. It's a handy tool when working with multiple layers in a slideshow.